Fichtelberg Fichtelberg is a municipality in the district of Bayreuth in Bavaria in Germany. It is a state-recognized climatic spa. Fichtelberg lies on the southeastern slopes of the Ochsenkopf, the second-highest summit of the Fichtelgebirge Mountains, and the most populous place in the Fichtelgebirge Nature Park. Fichtelberg lies on a major European watershed. Two rivers rise above the suburb of Neubau, the White Main, one of the two headstreams of the Main, which flows westwards to the Rhine, and the Fichtelnop, which flows south and enters the Danube. Since 1857 Fichtelberg has belonged to the Bavarian provinces of Upper Franconia. The only parish that borders immediately on Fichtelberg is Maimizel. The origin of the name Fichtelberg, as well as the Fichtelgebirge, is probably to be found in mining lore and not, as long suspected, its dense, spruce forests. At the time the name originated, pollen analysis shows that in the North Bavarian region mixed forests of beech, fir and spruce existed. It was only due to the mining and smelting industry, that hardwood species were decimated and faster growing spruce was planted to supply wood for the mines. At first, only a mountain called Wittenberg where the street Vitus mine was located, was mentioned in a charter of 1317, this later became the Ochsenkopf. The original name later evolved into the word Victel or Fichtel and was eventually used for the entire terrain of present-day Fichtelgeberg. The first written record of the Victlapurgs dates to 1508. The history of the site at Fichtelberg is dominated by or mining of the mining company Erzgrub Gottesgab im Glacingerfels im Fichtelberg. In 1600 the uppermost reaches of the Fichtelnot Valley near the present villages of Neubau and Fichtelberg was still covered with a rugged, forest-covered wilderness. Finds as such as a serpentine pendant in 1922 on the Ochsenkopf or a stone axe head excavated in 1935 east of Fichtelberg, suggest that the area around Fichtelberg was already inhabited in the Neolithic period, at least by hunters passing through. The absence of other finds, however, rules out any permanent settlement until the beginning of the 17th century. This was probably due to the steep slopes and significantly higher altitude along with a harsh climate and less fertile soils. Iron ore mining in the upper Fichtelnot Valley began in 1478, but only a small settlement of a few houses extended from the south up to the outskirts of what is now Fichtelberg today. In 1602, Johann Glaser founded a company of six influential and financially powerful men, in order to work with them to begin mining on Glacingerfels. To search for suitable iron ore loads, smelt them in blast furnaces using the most modern and profitable methods of the day and to process them profitably. The wood that was needed in large quantities in the furnaces, forges, hammers and foundries, was available in the extensive forests of the region. There was also enough water at first for the water wheels of the ironworks, when eventually the available water finally became insufficient, they promptly drove channels from the highest head streams of the main and the Steinich, and diverted the water. One example was the Boxgraben. A thriving iron industry rapidly developed. Iron ore was processed in the royal foundry. At first, the mines were open cast, because the ore veins were on the surface. But eventually these pits collected too much water and there were no powerful pumps at hand. So adits were driven to enable the water to drain out. These hand-hewn tunnels were so big, that a large man could easily walk through them. The mine on the Gleisinger Fells was called Gottesgab im Fichtelberg as was the important mining office established later far up the Fichtelnop Valley. The first accommodation huts appeared, the beginnings of a now growing and thriving mining settlement, and four furnaces smelted the silver iron that was mined in the Fichtelberg area. At this time, the region around Fichtelberg was the most important mining operation in the electorate of Bavaria. Fichtelberg came under the Amberg Renton and the Waldeck District Court in the electorate of Bavaria the mining office had the legal status of a royal estate. In 1808 the Fichtelberg mining office, as a border region, changed hand repeatedly between the Kingdom of Bavaria and Margrave of Bayreuth. Since 1857, when the district of the then Bayreuth district court was enlarged, it has been part of the province of Upper Franconia. Or mining and smelting had been the economic factor in Fichtelberg, but with the beginning of industrialization, or mining became less and less profitable. On March 26, 1859 work ceased and, in 1862, the mining company closed. It was initially followed by an economic decline which could only be partially compensated for by quarrying of granite and greenstone, which had already since been worked on the Ochsenkopf massif since the beginning of the 17th century, and which was used especially for glass production, and by the timber industry. Many residents left the area. After the Second World War, settlers came, 
mainly glass blowers from Gablons, and helped Fichtelberg to renewed prosperity as an industrial site based on the glass and button production. Since then it has largely lost its industrial importance, but survives because of its scenic location on the southwestern slope of the Ochsenkopf, mainly from tourism, and its function as a winter sports center. The Glasingerfels mines are the oldest in northern Bavaria and are the only silver iron mine in the world, which is still accessible to the public. View from south on Lake Fichtelsee, close to campsite the council has 14 members, the mayor is Sebastian Voigt, elected in 2020. Column with four Putty Marion Sculpture Baroque Marion Column with four Putty Fichtelberg lies about 3 km south of the B303 and not far from the A9 motorway from Berlin Nuremberg. Exit Bad Berneck or, from Berlin, Fries Dietmar Hermann, Der Ochsenkopf im Fichtelgeberge, half 17 2009 Der Schriftenray Day Fichtelgeberge Vereins E. V. Thanks for watching.